That's right, Rialter. The one and only. For those joining us on YouTube, this is Red Dead Redemption 2. Of course, I have quite a, hi well, some history with the first game, Red Dead Redemption 1, in which we stabbed pumas, bears, with knives. We also got overrun with bears. And our, ha our horse, Lewis, unceremoniously died one time to our dismay. It was very unfortunate. All right, so you want me to adjust that? You know what? Let's go ahead and make it a little brighter because YouTube is, you know, classically dark. I want subtitles all the time. Isn't that nice? Thank you. Uh, you know what? TV's fine. Stereo speakers? What are these options in 2018? We'll go with uh, stereo speakers. Anyway, I have no idea what I, what's in store for me in this game. I've kept myself completely blind. This is a day after release. We have snow-covered rocks and a man holding a gun. There's a bird. Are we just getting some Western imagery to get us pumped up while it loads the game? This game is pretty flippin' huge, by the way, on the PlayStation 4, the platform I'm playing it on. The download was like 96 gigs, which is pretty big in 2018. There's guns in this game? I know. <laughs> Fucking amazing. You know, after I installed that uh, non-volatile memory hard drive on my PC, these low times, man. By 1899, the age of outlaws and gunslingers was at an end. America was becoming a land of laws. Even the West had mostly been tamed. All the bears were riding those little unic unicycles and Shriner mobiles. A few gangs still roamed, but they were being hunted down and destroyed, underlined for whatever reason. Rockstar Games, of course, presents. A game I've already announced, and that you would have known about because you started the game from your console. Possibly by inserting a disc. Red Dead Redemption 2. Electric Boogaloo. says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. <sighs> if we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. It's weather. It's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest, buddy. You know. An old man in town. Bandits. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! And once again, we get some kind of effect like an old fashioned photo. By the way, Arthur there is our player character. His full name is Arthur Morgan, if what I've read is true. Chapter 1. Coulter. He opens doors with his guns. A true American.
To be honest, I don't know, uh, Denovan, if this is a prequel, sequel, or a sidequel. We are, it is, Arthur is part of the same gang. As our previous player character, John Marston. Look at that hairdo. See what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead... I mean, you could. I'd do it. It just wouldn't help anything. But, we're gonna ride out, and we're gonna find some food. Everybody, we're safe. Now, there ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here... Well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet. So, they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Also, that's true there, Death. There are some clues that this is a prequel. And that that gentleman in the black coat is alive, Mr. Dutch. He's of course one of the, uh... I believe he is the top man of the gang. And he was dead in the second game. So the fact that he's alive kind of tells us that this game took place before the first one. I hope it's bears. I hope I can actually fist fight a bear in this game. You could do that in the last one, but you couldn't kill it. I want to punch a bear and have it actually die. That would be some real innovation. So, I did have fun chasing bears in the last game with a knife, and it was some kind of bear, <laughs> bear themed slasher flick. I'm having trouble talking today, mostly because my throat's uh, a little sore. Slow my horse down, huh? Yep. Works like a charm. I wonder if there's horse stealth in this game. I'm a bit overpowering. I can fix that, probably. There you go. Oh, I can just arbitrarily talk to Dutch now. A bit better? That's not good enough. We need it absolutely better. Was that a trap? So, do you think it was a trap in Blackwater? That many men? Oh, they knew we were coming. 
There was money on that boat, all right. Lots of it. Hey, I think I see something up the path. Speaking of money, when they said they were short on supplies earlier, I was <laughs> thinking about interjecting with, yes, we need more coins for the, all these dead people eyes. <laughs> Maybe we'll get to shoot somebody. How's Davey doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davey was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. Come back, guys. Oh, so that's right there, Ray Elder. At least we know the seasons now. Yeah, the controls are the same as they were in the last game, it seemed. I noticed that before when I was trying to catch up, I was tapping X. I was hoping we could talk to him again. Oh, maybe we can. Nope, he has no talks. No talks. I knew we had another option, but whatever. We can just talk about the trap. Still seems quiet? Well, let's go ahead and crank it up some more. That's why I get for using a different game, right? There we go. I cranked it up even more for you, Cod Raven. If it's not, uh, still not good enough, go ahead and throw me another line. <clears throat> I know, look at all this snow physics. We could make snow angels. Kind of debating if I should call my horse Lewis again. I mean, clearly we're a different character. They can't both be Lewis, or can they? <laughs> and you could also say, but Lewis died. That was in a prior, that was in, that's in a later time frame, right? It's just quiet because the snow dampens the sound. Immersion, that's right. It's good. Good, 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 good. Oh, the excitement. Maybe it just wants me to move up. Oh, now we can talk to Micah. Are oh, you running to anybody else? You run into anybody else? I, I reckon we're the only ones crazy enough to be out in this, Morgan. Yeah, well, don't talk to me about crazy. Oh, so no, glad you're all right. I was worried, Micah. Look, it's all good. Okay, let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Stop and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Now we're going in solo? Okay. Uh, Apparently we're some kind of badasses, Arthur Morgan. Let's head down there. All right, well, you, I was going to say, we can't jump down the cliff side with Lewis. Let's follow our friends. They probably know the way down. I have a health meter. That's good. In the last game, you didn't really have a health meter. You just sort of eventually died. <laughs> or did you? I don't remember it being really obvious. I just remember whenever I got jumped by a puma, I was pretty much all the way dead already. Let's hitch up here. You can make choices in this game, good or bad. Okay. We're actually going to hitch our horse to a tree, of all things. My goodness. Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. <laughs> are we going to kill them, or are we going to go ahead and have a fucking, like, a uh, hoedown or something? Someone's we can still sneak them. around. That's good. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than 
Three nasty looking degenerates. Micah, hide behind that way. <laughs> you wrecking cuddles? You take that Guess we'll see. On the left and stay low, both of you. Go to the shed. Which particular shed would you huh, prefer? Arthur, what are you doing? I said get out of sight. Okay. Is this good enough for you, sir? Hmm? Hello? Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way. Lost in the storm. Three oh, targets no. at least? We can't Four targets? You, Mr. We got a problem. There's bodies in there, huh? There's a corpse right here. Oh boy. Arthur, so there's a body in the wagon. I hear you. Just keep your eyes on Dutch. All right. I think you should go now. We have our good old pistol, our Kettleman revolver. All right. Now, you want me to open up on these fools or what? Now, friend. I ain't asking. For much. The street fitting. Please. I am kind of desperate. Hey. I don't believe it. Come here, partner. Come here. It's goddamn Dutch Randall and you morons. Cole is going to sit his pants. He's up for sides, boys. Okay, it does have, like, snap to aim, so I should use that to my advantage. From the window, you say? Not anymore, there ain't. Oh! There's a guy in that shed or around the corner. Isn't that Dutch right there? <laughs> Why is it aiming at Dutch? Oh, wait. That's Dutch. See, this is why you gotta check your line of fire, folks. So easy to have friendly fire when everyone's wearing brown trench coats. Where is he making a run for it, man? He won't last out there by himself. That's my boy, Arthur. Good shooting. Goddamn O'Driscoll boys here. Why? I don't know. Maybe same reason as us. Micah, go bring the horses closer to the house. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. Doors are flapping in the wind. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies. Okay, as dope. Can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. <laughs> whiskey? Well, let me see if I can find some whiskey. Looks like there's something in here. A health care, huh? Got some snake oils. It's a strange one. You don't want to take that one? Maybe they're hiding up here too. Oh, I gotta hold it. I see. A big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Clearly it's so we have looting dynamics in this. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh, I can just like hold it near anything and it'll figure it out. Uh, I'm starving. You see something now. Get your strength up for the Okay. Gotta hold the buttons for everything on this, huh? I'll have some beans, I guess. I won't even open the can. I'll open it with my teeth. Cause I'm a man. The place is dry, warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Some oat cakes. Well, we can't have enough oat cakes, I suppose. Examine. Hmm. I wonder if which one of them's in the cart. Looks like the poor bastard was married too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. Hmm. Unfortunate. Grab anything you think we can use, then meet me out. Okay. 
We got some shoes in here. You never have too many shoes. Two bucks. Is there nothing else in there? Well, let's close it up. Don't want those shoes getting cold. Some jewelry. Somehow it feels like this is gonna bite me in the ass having this pendant. They're gonna be, oh my god, you you totally killed those people for that jewelry. No, oh, no, 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 the guys that are there prior totally did it. It wasn't me. Hey, why can't we have more colorful cowboys? Well, <laughs> they're not those kind of cowboys. Those kind of cowboys don't, well, they might exist. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. At this point in time, I don't want to know. <laughs> Is that something? Yep, that's something. We got some assorted biscuits. What biscuits? Well, let's think about it. We have some uh, some cool ranch biscuits. Some classic Doritos biscuits. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that. Okay, dog. Micah, you search the cabin. See what we missed. Let's go check the barn. Sounds like there may, in fact, be a horse in here, and it's mighty pissed. Holy shit, cop! It's goddamn Sam Fisher! Are we gonna punch him? Shit, yeah! Bet! Oh, do we have Conse? 